hello welcome back to my channel if you're new you're welcome and i hope you stay today i'm bringing to you one of my favorite delicacies and this is the garlic bread now this is so easy to make but it's super delicious without wasting time let's just get started so obviously as the name suggests i am going to be needing some garlic and i've got here about three cloves of garlic feel free to add more if you are a garlic person so i'll go ahead and chop it into very small pieces I've got here about 100 grams of butter. You can decide to use salted butter or unsalted butter. In this video, I'm using unsalted butter. I'll come in with my chopped garlic. Next, I'll come in with about two teaspoonful of chopped parsley. I'll go ahead and give it a good mix. I'll set this aside for later. So I've got this Italian French bread over here and I'll go ahead and cut about two slices. Slices should be about half an inch thick. So I must say, if you cut on the bread, if you want your garlic bread crispy and you know the dried kind then you should cut the slices very thin like half a centimeter but i prefer the thicker slices because i want the bread softer i'll get a slice of the bread and smear the paste on both surfaces. You can decide to bake this in the oven or do it on flame. I have decided to do it in a pan on flame, so I'll put my tortilla pan on medium flame. When the pan is warm, I'll just put the slices in it. So basically, I'll cook one side for about a minute, then I'll turn it over and cook the other side as well. So our garlic bread is ready. I'll just come in with a little bit of grated parmesan. A little bit more of fresh parsley and guys you need to give this a try you cannot stop at one it's so delicious you just need a few ingredients some fresh bread parsley garlic and butter and you're good to go so this is it and i hope i did help you i hope you are going to give this a try if you do let me know how it comes out for you if you're not subscribed, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to share this with family and friends and don't forget to leave me that big fat thumbs up. Until next time, I am going to see you again with another nice and interesting one. Bye bye.